Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slacker's Impression. Yes, yes, the dog is doing his first impression. <laughs> We're checking out Between the Stars, a space-faring roguelike that puts you in the shoes of a stellar cruiser captain. Protect the civilized world from the infamous Children of Sun. Explore the farthest reaches of the universe and face new challenges head on. If after this video you're interested in learning more about Between the Stars, check out their Kickstarter page as well as their Discord links can be found in our description below. Don't forget guys, also follow both at Isolated underscore games as well as at Alex Post Guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Alex Post Guy. I, I cannot pronounce that name. I hopefully I didn't butcher it. That's at A-L-E-X-P-O-Y-S-K-Y. I'm very horrible at pronouncing names, so apologies. Uh, don't forget to follow them both on Twitter for the latest news on the title. For now, uh, don't forget, also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, take a bite of that like button, and please, please share the content, help us expand the Slackers universe. Hey guys, <laughs> sorry for that long intro, but I wanted to make sure that I did that correctly, so... <laughs> All right, this is my very first time playing this game. I just tweaked sound settings. I haven't even clicked into the game yet, so... Uh, don't know if this has controller support or not. Let me see. I believe it does. Let's click on... Okay. Let's go with James Scott. James Scott, and we're playing with uh, graphic settings on I. Uh, there is an Ultra, but I'm not sure if my computer can handle it, so we're just going to try with I and see how pretty it looks like that. I'm very excited because, as you all know, I was doing my Everspace playthrough, and I ran into an unfortunate glitch, and I have not been able to complete that one. So I'm very excited to play it another game that kind of supports that space roguelike feel right there, so. Alert. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. What? Crew, boost warp drive to full power. But Captain! I said full power. That's an order. Do it! Redistribute Do it now. power. Capacitors charging in four, three, just a bit more! Warp successful. We've made it. So that doesn't work. Maybe yeah. It's definitely a mouse. Alright. Oh, sorry guys. My I messed damage up I analysis. <laughs> Starting damage assessment protocol. Hmm. Testing main the engines. Engine power is adjusted. There are four indicators displaying your speed. Green indicates for forward speed. Red indicates for rear, rearward speed or blank when stationary. Uh, move your mouse wheel up to increase throttle. Move it down for or up to increase the throttle and move forward with the mouse wheel down to reverse. Got it. Moderate damage. Engines operational. Testing oh, navigation there, systems. I see the, uh, the power. Okay. It's in the bottom right corner. <laughs> oh, I just noticed I'm covering up the, the instructions. I'm sorry, guys. Let me move my camera. That's horrible. Horrible. I should have should have played the game for a second to see where best the camera would be. Shit. Let's just put it in the center. There we go. Maybe we should just stay cameraless, huh? <laughs> Alright. Uh, the latest propulsion system of our ship allows it to move more carefully. Uh, keep W slash S held to tilt the ship forward and backward. Keep Q and E. Okay. So Q and E to turn the ship left or right. And A, D for held to rotate the ship. Okay, so... Okay. And then we got Q. Okay. 
Navigation like systems it. operational. Testing power systems. All right, the energy control system allows you to reassign power to shields, weapons, or engines. In the panel below, you will see three gauges displaying the disruptment or er, disbursement of energy. Sorry. <laughs> Use the up arrow to assign all energy to weapons, left arrow to assign all energy to engines, or right arrow to assign all energy to shields. That's cool. Uh, so, up. Okay, I see that. Left. Power distribution correct. There we go. I'll just do it all even for now. Captain, we're detecting warp signatures in the vicinity. Uh -oh. We've been followed. Uh, Prepare for attack. Have a deflector shield that protects them from the damage. Once we get the holes exposed, focusing, oh, focusing fire on a single part. The ship allows you to destroy the shield quicker. Keep X belt to look behind you. Got it. Alright, All right, let's, let's remember these controls. Sorry. It's gonna take me a while. Let's get this good. Don't worry, pushing the Rockies. There we go. One person. One person. The other one. Oh, God, I landed the wrong button. destroyed enemy ships can be looted in order to obtain salvage pods. In order to search for salvage, fly close to a ship and place your cursor over it. Once the ship becomes a holographic image, look for the red point, which indicates the ship's salvage position, and place the cursor over it. Hold the fire button down over the red dot in order to salvage the loot. Okay. So let's go over here to this guy. Got it. All right. We're 
very close to him. <laughs> I stick my thrusters in your general direction. <laughs> Getting my pitch, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, this is definitely gonna take some getting used to. Oh! Got it. At least the, the thrusters kinda telling me when I'm doing something right or wrong. I really like the individual thruster flames and everything. That's really cool. Alright. I guess right now we need to just, let's just put all the, the thruster power to the engine. Yeah. Get to our ships quicker. There we go. So for that one, reverse. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, where are the other ones? Lois. There we go. I'm oh, starting to get the hang of this. Oops. Gave you a love tap. Hey. Don't be, don't be spinning to where I can't get your loot. guys, I am so not used to doing keyboard controls. Oh. In the future, for people like me, between the start steps, I would appreciate if you add full controller support. Because that's, that makes me happy. But, I need to force myself to get used to playing with keyboards since I'm playing mostly PC gaming now. So, yeah. Er, wrong way. power. Let's go. Alright. Down. Gotcha. stored in your ship's hold until they are opened or s stored in your stash on a space station. Don't forget to have enough space to keep picking them up all across the universe. Okay. Cool. Let's check this out. So this one's a rare pod. So let's see what we get. We get, um, may contain materials, blueprints, weapons, can be opened or stored in any station to be used in the future. Got it. Open it. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah! Credits. What is that? The new hardened eurovite. <laughs> must be a, a new metal. Argonic crystal. Calentite. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher all of these names. Calentite core. All right, we got black. Agarba. And refine Slytherin. Let's see. Synthetic Mindsight. <laughs> and Protonite. Protonite. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All these really tough names for me. Alright, let's see. We got. We got this one. Let's see. Some more, got more credits. Alright. Got a corpse. Specialist Pawn on served currently on the under the orders of Captain Scott, served the vacation and devotion to the Interstellar Republic will be remembered. So do we just hold on to I was like, I don't know if we do like the traditional like on the movies like where you send your your 
your fallen comrades out into space in a pod and you know just salute them off. And the specialist, uh, Gertias. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I cannot pronounce that. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'll remember you forever, Kurt. You know, I just cannot pronounce your name, but that's how I'll remember you because you're the one I could never pronounce your name. Served valiantly on the Genesis under the orders of Captain Scott. Served with dedication and devotion to the service of the He never did. For his pride, his honor and pride. Alright, let's open up some more stuff. Oh, what is this? Light intelligent missile launcher in K2. Nice! Range 72, full damage 6 per second, speed 73, resistance 11. Nice! Alright, let's see what the uncommon is. <laughs> More supplies. Uh, All these credits can help us, though. We need to get some repairs done. Hopefully, there's like a space station or something nearby. Nice. All right. Is this like damage or something? Because these are in red. That worries me. Range full damage. Accuracy, huh? Got pretty good accuracy. Nuclear missile launcher? We what? We have a nuclear missile launcher on this thing? Uh, big enough to launch powerful nuclear warheads. Preparation time for this launch is slow, but its destructive power is fast. Five hundred a second. I bet. <laughs> Distance one hundred fifty. Range forty-five seconds. Oh wait. There's two ranges. One says time and one says actual numbers. So we'll have to figure that stuff out later. I don't even know how to switch between guns. I was just... I guess I should have right clicked at some point. Uh, I was just mostly left clicking the whole time. I was panicking. I've got two nuclear missiles, apparently. And for a short time, weapons fire at high speed without consuming energy. Ooh, that's cool. Alright, pirates and smuggling influence. We got five out of ten. And SMC Intergalactic Corporation, where we got 5 out of 10. Okay, so we're kind of at the in between right now. Okay. So let's check out. Oh, wait, can we put this on? No? Does it just replace something? Let's see. Well, let's let's check out these other tabs. Let's see. Care workshop, add a member. Scrapping workshop, sick bay. What guys? What sections do they work in? Specialist, fallen, surgeon. Doesn't say what section they actually worked on the ship. So I'm not sure if I lost anyone important. Let's see, crew members. Two vacant spots. Okay. Tasks. I don't have any more. Let's let's go out of the menu and see if we can System analysis. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. Okay. All right, Mai. What's our current position? We are currently in the Thamesic sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. Alright, the solar map allows quick travel between nearby sectors, open it up, and jump to the Epiot Stellar Sector. So to access the stellar map, click on... Okay, uh, and it is currently... Alright, I guess we're going here. Warp drive engines damaged. Jump impossible. Uh, my, which is the closest space station in this sector? <laughs> it's the trade station and terrace port. Okay, set in the coordinates. Coordinates set. Okay. 
So, space stations, known areas, and anomalies in the same sector will show up on the screen. In order to move faster, we can use quantum engines. Before charging the engines, make sure there is space in front of the ship as so not to crash. Ah, so uh, we should we should move away from this guy, All right? All right. We should uh, tilt more this way. Tilt up some. Yes. And slightly over. I think that should clear everything. Good. All right. Uh, space. My situation report on Antero's port. Accessing database. This station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. It has a large port specialized for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining settlements. You don't say. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. Am I to be pushing directions? I am. Oops. I was just listening to her and not like paying attention. Whoopsie. Like, ah. Like, wait, wait, aren't I supposed to be doing something? Uh, do I cut the engine somehow? They cut automatically. Okay, they cut automatically. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm just gonna wave. Bye! <laughs> Captain Scott from the Fifth Republic Fleet here. We request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bed. Over. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. So, go there, I guess. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me read this first. When you reach a friendly allied station, you will be assigned a docking bay. It will be highlighted as oper operational to dock, fly to the highlighted area, and fly into the light. If you need more precise precision of movement, you can make use of the lateral and vertical thrusters. Use left shift and left control. Oh, there we go. There's the other movements I was wondering where they were at. Nice. Uh, to move the ship vertically, you can use Z and C. Okay. All right, let's go. Go ahead and move up some. Oh, no, no, the other one. Okay. I was close enough and it took over. <laughs> I was almost like riding on top of it. <laughs> If I known that, I would have approached it from the side. All right, you discovered a great commotion around the freighters on the station when you exit the ship. You hear shouts from all angels, angles. Oh, sorry, angels, angles, and merchants bidding ever increasing numbers over merchandise. Your crew and yourself fly the freighters behind the search for a repair shop. You find yourself looking at the neon lights when someone bumps into your shoulder. Look down. Ouch, that hurt. It's, it's a, a scruffy young woman who begins to collect spanners and metal objects of all sorts she had on her as she tries to steady herself. 
Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Don't worry. Are you hurt? Uh, you should be more careful. Uh, sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. There. No, it was my fault entirely. Oh, excuse me, Captain. I'm so sorry. My name is Susan. I'm the head of the Pulsar Ship Repair Workshop. What can I do for you? So we're just looking for a repair shop. Uh, we're just passing through the map. We need repairs. We're not going to be a punk. <laughs> you walk together but to the docking bay where your ship is located. Susan rubs her eyes. Uh, <laughs> no way. A KP56 or SC warship. It's completely totaled. How did you manage to... She has a size deeply. Alright, we can do it, but it won't be cheap or easy. Repair costs costs highly exceeds your credit amount. After negotiating, you hand, agreed to handle a series of tasks for her to return for in return for a payment. In the meantime, they shall give you a complete completely operational ship. Oh, okay. All right, of course, Captain. There's a transmission bay in the next district over. I can show you the way. Large space stations often have a transmission station highly superior to the normal ships. Uh, for cross-section communication, walk through the station until reaching the transmission bay where you encounter two guards. After identifying yourself, you are allowed to pass the spot and transmission crew visibly sending coordinates and data to nearby stations. You are granted a terminal in order to send a station report to the Republic. One transmission. Scott, Captain Scott here. We're transmitting from the Andreas Port Station in Sector uh, Thama 6. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering all this. Admiral Xiao. Or Xiao? I, I'm guessing that's how you say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Captain Scott, we were expecting you to arrive two Earth days ago explain the situation. Scott, yes sir, we ran into problems. We were following the trail of a slaver network in the uh, Lithoba? Lithoba? One sector. We infiltrated their base, obtained a crucial part of their information they asked us for, but our scientists are still unable to decipher it. During our retreat, we were ambushed by a uh, assault fleet we had thought we had left behind when we arrived at this sector, but we were intercepted. We finally managed to finish off the enemy ships, but two of our crew members have lost their lives and the Genesis was practically destroyed. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. We'll give the sending off they deserve. What is your ship's current status? Currently it is inoper inoperative. As soon as it is repaired, we'll return to the headquarters for Stellar Summit. As of one of the most experienced captains of the Republic, your presence is requested as head escort and uh, uh, recipient of our guests. Ever, every governing body of the universe shall be present and will be, or will set aside their differences in favor of new era of peace and prosperity. All right. So. Oh, okay, there we go. Space station panel is where all offered services are presented. In the crew section, you will be able to hire different crew members for your ship's positions. If you have any dead members, remember to hand them in for funeral services in order to free up cargo space. The stores section has the possibility to purchase different equipment. The contract panel gives you the possibility to accept different missions, and then the stash allows you to store salvage pods for use in future runs. And over the, and over the, the corpses of any dead crew members, accept the contract. Okay, gotcha. Alright, so... Make funeral. Make funeral. Okay. Uh, and the... Should we go to the store? We have this in our inventory. Let's, oh, this is the store. Okay. Lock 2. What do we currently have on our ship? 
Oh, this is our new ship. Let's see. Light plasma cannon. I wonder if we're allowed to modify this ship. <laughs> we're just gonna just start putting rims on it, you know, put some neon lights. <laughs> some shield deflectors. <laughs> They're like, what the hell did you do to our ship? This was just a loner. That's like uh, $5,000, yo. <laughs> I hooked this ship up. <laughs> Oh, that would be funny. Uh, let's see. What do we need? What do we need? I don't know what we need. Let's see. <coughs> I'm guessing we need someone for the light plasma cannons. So, and the missile launcher. So, departments. Okay, it's not... Okay, we go to crew members, maybe? Look here? No? Okay. Let's just go to the, the mission request. <laughs> we'll figure all this stuff out later. Is there anything better, though? Let's just look real quick. Five of ten. Let's just see what we can do with what we got. Let's accept that contract. Alright. Alright guys, when I'm in the store, it's not really a good place for that camera, is there? Alright, um... How do we get out of this? Right here? There we go. Exit. Everyone to their post. We must find that missing freighter. Captain, Hi. do you think it could have been an attack? I like this new ship It's strange. Too. If this it had been great. an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station, and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct violation of Organic Space Law 412, Section 2, Slash 08. Sorry, I'm just getting used to the controls while we got time. We've arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. There doesn't appear to be anything here. My, can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's take a look. Yep, let's go in.
Oh, he wanted me to go over there. My bad, guys. Oh. I thought I had uh, lowered myself enough to dodge that. My bad. <laughs> hurt my shield a little bit, that's all. Oh wait, no? I bet you wanted me to go to the blue marker. I'm sorry, guys. I need to figure out this game still. But it wanted me to go to the center of the wreckage. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. My prepare the analysis module. Preparing the scan system. All right. Scanning system lets you scan enemy ships and objects. This lets you gather information in battle, such as enemies' level, their weak points, or additional additional event-related information. Emails. Scan complete, Captain. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. My, can you follow the radiation <laughs> signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. Okay. So... We gotta turn around, looks like. Let's get past all this stuff first before we initiate that uh, other drive. Right. <gasps> I like the uh, charge up. Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Affirmative. Ex Cleo, commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Surrender, or we'll open fire. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of chunk? <laughs> you asked for it. Crew to arms. Oh, you insulted me, sir. Should not have done that. There we go. Test this out. The ship's remains correspond to the freighter we've been searching for. We have to look for survivors and confirm the shipment was in fact stolen. Preparing to board. Hey. There we go. Thank you. 
Thank you for your contribution. Alright, uh, all power to engines now, because we're out of combat. so close to this one. <laughs> I like stopped just in time. Alright. Let's go back. Well, I'm not doing too bad, I don't think. <laughs> We're not being used to keyboard controls and all that. Uh, enter the... Enter what's left of the freighter as the bay doors close behind you. Within it, you find the remains of what used to be an enormous commercial freighter. You can see all sorts of supplies, objects on the floor, accompanied by what war once their crew. After some time searching the corridors, you come to a passageway with two possible paths. I'm right-handed, so let's go right. The crew and you advance through the corridor, and you've chosen... The further in the ship you go, the more you get the feeling you are not alone. After a while, you reach another crossway. Let's go right again. After walking in circles, you arrive at the hallway in the bay that opens in front of you. Through the door frame, you st and still within the darkness, you are able to make out a faint light. Let's enter. As soon as you enter the bay, door closes, the lights turn on, and at the end of the room you see a rare Fahrenheit shipment stacked in rows that emit light rays of light. The robotic voice surprises you. It seems to be the ship's uh, mega system. Intruders detected in the loading bay. Activate security protocol. Open it up. Uh, let's see. Halt, we are the crew of the Genesis of the Republic. Guy waits a few seconds and begins to speak again. Opening suspended, uh, validating potentials, error, they are intruders. Uh, no, I am the captain here to rescue the freighter. Just to hesitate for a few seconds. Establishing analysis. Possibility of intruders not being identified as intruders 100%. Here, servo motors and evacuations, bay doors screeching. Open the bay doors, the shipment will be last. Negativity, the shipment has been anchored here to ensure its security. You can see the chests have mechanical anchors latched to the floor and they are completely. and some are completely damaged. Okay, we are intruders. 0% probability the intruders are identified as intruders, establishing analysis error. The AI begins to calculate probability. <laughs> Possibilities while it seems confused. Only someone who isn't an intruder would claim they are. What are your orders? Yeah, let's just go with that one. Confused by the question, the AI answers. Master System has to ensure the security of the shipment and its has to limit to intruders if we're gone. Okay, if we want to protect the shipment, you will be the intruder that is jeopardizing it. Due to the. My system continues analysis error, fatal logic error, <laughs> intruder destruction. The bay door closes behind you, eliminating the risk of being expelled through them and expelled through them. And the AI continues the planetary errors until it comes to a conclusion that it must eliminate itself. You hear its voice turn off as it ensures the safety. Everyone is safe. That was close. Let's return to justice with the ship. <laughs> <laughs> the AI killed itself. <laughs> we just talked a machine into committing suicide. That's great. <laughs> um, suicide over life is not great, but to make a machine do it, that's to me is hilarious. Uh, you load the chest of the Fortnite shipment and you look at the registry of what could have happened. The engineers search through a few working terminals left and all the data appears to be corrupt. You make a security copy to be able to study it later. Okay. Let's Got go it. back to the station to inform Susan. What kind of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? 
X player's weapons do not correspond to the radiation we've been following. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern obtained in the slaver's base. Our team can't undertake an investigation. We haven't found enough matches. Well, let's go back. Let's see what we're working with. Looks like our, our ship is damaged 67%. percent would be my guess. just practicing controls as we go along so that way I will be better at the game for you guys. Comms Chief, request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Alright. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Susan, who rushes out to meet you. You return, have you found anything? Susan looks at you, expecting, expectantly waiting for an answer. We found the freighter. We want, there weren't any survivors. Susan looks shocked by the news. After a few seconds, she recovers and begins to speak. They can't be. I knew the pilot ever since we were kids. Are you able to recover the cargo? Yes, we are able to recover it. Well, at least there's some good news. Our crew is currently heavily invested in the repair work. Since you need this ship as soon as possible, maybe your engineers could help us. Could you uh, process the protonite slabs and fabricate a new ionic re er, reactor? Of course, we're, we're on it. You got it. You got it, Susan. I believe my mom's... Uh, uh, name is Susan, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. But she doesn't like her name, so she uses her middle name, Lynn. <laughs> Fun fact about the dog and his family. <laughs> uh, you've obtained your first blueprint with it, uh, and the specific, specified materials. You can create the blueprints object in your task panel. Weapons and some objects can be scrapped in order to do that, go to the task panel, assign the required task, insert the object, and the crew member will be undertaking the task. Go to the department section. In the inventory, salvage the raw. Okay. So, departments, get an engineer. Excellent job. This will this work will have everything we need to finish the repairs. 
I have another favor to ask you in the meantime while we finish things up. Speak with me when you're ready to go. Oh, of course. Alright, um, I guess we weren't supposed to do that. Aren't we supposed to... Where's my pass? Pass went away. <laughs> okay. Uh... supposed to uh, process the raw material. Let's see. Ooh, there's a shotgun. Love it. Bring him down like a shotgun. Inspection. Okay. <coughs> You've stopped receiving chronite shipments after the attack and the fray will guide you in the condition. Inspect Howard Huggins. 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 I, I'm not sure how to say that properly. Huggins. I'm gonna say Huggins. <laughs> Must fill out his forms immediately, transport him, and evaluate the ship's status. Okay. Um. Let's back out. Did we accomplish everything we were supposed to? I don't think we're supposed to process that. Let me go back to departments. Let's go to research. No? I'll go to each one and see. A scrapping workshop? There it is. We should depart. Engines on maximum drive. Maximum Unauthorized drive. order. You lack bridge privileges. <laughs> so now I have a babysitter? Is the Republic sending you to watch over me? It's a matter of security, Mr. Huggins. <laughs> the last Proto Knight shipment was assaulted. Captains are not what they used to be. If a pirate ship attacked me, there wouldn't be enough space for them to hide. <laughs> We're sure of that. <laughs> Alright. Now that we're done with our little... Uh, we need to go up. Uh, don't crash into the... I'm gonna go through the Kickstarter. <laughs> there it is over there. Okay. I'm already forgetting all my controls. Look at that. Jeez. Alright. Space. Every time we dock, they uh, repair our ship because. Oh no, it's still at 67%. We need to be careful. I should have probably checked to see how to do that, but it didn't say for me to do it, so. Let's see. The inspection. And sorry, phone call. I'm in the middle of a recording, so you can have to wait. What the hell? These transport ships are not ours. 
It seems they found a more interesting intermediary than your company, Mr. Huggins. Oh. This can't be! We have to register this immediately! Alright. Let's see. At the moment in the game, you can access photo mode. <laughs> in it, time will halt. And you will have complete control over the camera and its parameters in order to take spectacular pictures, save them directly to your computer, or press the button to hide the interface and have the screen cap with streams on system. USB, uh, press left mouse button to mobilize the camera, adjust photography values to your liking to take a picture. Got it. Foreman finds out, heads will roll. Yeah, what he said. I'll come back for y'all. Y'all in trouble? I'm gonna tell. Mm. Oh, we got another. We gotta, gotta go at warp speed. Ludicrous speed, go! Captain, we have to go <laughs> back to the station now. What happened? I forgot my lunch. Mr. Huggins. <laughs> False alarm, I found it. Captain, there's no sign of activity on the station. It looks completely abandoned. We should dock and discover what's going on here. I'll stay on the ship, uh, co covering your backs. Yeah, I'm not a coward at all. emergency lights on the show and remains of broken furniture thrown around the floor, forming large amounts of rubble. We need to reactivate the generators, look for survivors, let's continue our advance. <coughs> hmm. When we reactivate the generators, it'll help us look for survivors. You search the chamber for energy terminal to re-establish some systems. After a few minutes, you find a room that contains generators. A uh, head of engineering team comes near you. Captain, we've detected an anomaly in the generators. We could use the remaining remains of one of the destroyed machines to make them work. Go ahead and try. Engineer's capacity to craft machinery to your success. The team analyzes the damage of mine care and solution. Two minutes later, they've constructed an uh, biosis that allows energy flow to temporarily function. Great job, team. Let's go. With the lights on, you can see the destruction in the chamber much better. A dust cloud envelops the area. Among the remains of the rubble, rubble protrude now buried human remains. You continue through the chamber, then suddenly you hear one of the bodies still breathing. Let's help it. Upon digging out the body, you find the crewman is still barely alive. They came, we resisted. The man moves his arm slowly, pulls out an ID card, hands it to you, and the, and the light fades from his eyes. Oh. 
you advance through one of the hallways. On the walls, you can see scratch marks and blood. You reach a completely sealed bay. Next to it, you see a small key card reader. Tim, can you hack the terminal? I got some good engineers, man. They just know their stuff. They're just like, bam, bam, bam. Here, you want this, Captain? Bam, you got it. You need this hacked? Done. <laughs> I got top top class crew right here. Engineering team gets to work and starts manipulating the terminal. A few minutes later, you hear electrical sound and the bay lights splash a few times before, the, before your eyes. The door swings open, allowing you entry. Okay. You advance through the hallway and search the different rooms that you find. You arrive to the bridge where a log of recent dockings or events must be. The large computer that Occupy occupies the room <laughs> is completely destroyed. You continue advancing through the smaller chambers without any luck finding anyone nor clues to what could have happened. In one of the workshops, you find plans for a weapons prototype. Maybe your engineers can use, make use of them. Okay. Cool. Let's exit. So? We've looked over the station. There are no survivors. There was but, one. He died. But this can't be happening. We have to inspect the last station. I think I've had enough. We should head back. This oversteps your jurisdiction, Mr. Huggins. You can come with us or stay here. You decide. You this decide. is an outrage! You guys <laughs> are kidnapping me! Preparing the jettison hatch for immediate exit. <laughs> All right, fine! I'll go with you! station after hearing Inspector Huggins is it Huggy kind of guy uh, <laughs> complains that the entire time you can't wait to finish the mission everything looks calm on the station and suddenly a group of ships appear in the area they are pirate ships you recognize expose any emblem on their hulls maybe they want revenge there's no time to lose in order you order the crew to prepare the defense station to the defense station Captain, the station is under attack. I told you we should have gone back. We could still turn the ship around. Control yourself, Mr. Huggins. We won't abandon any innocents. Crew, stay alert. We'll hold off the enemy attack. Sir, yes, sir. Let's go ahead and just try to finish them quickly. after the one that's like firing that shit. Oh, 
last one. This area is usually very peaceful, but the past few days there have been a few skirmishes between the pirates and trade ships, and this ex ex extent exceeds any other incident we've had to date. Like I do, how many are Uh Yes, Director, if he has any relevant information that could shed some light on the pirates' intentions, he responds, I have no idea what they could wait besides our... our Want wait want besides our proto knight, although an attack of this skill is just logically a oh, wait a moment. After disappears from the visor, only to return to a short term. I've been informed that we've recovered an encrypted transmission on one of the ships. Maybe it'll help you. Oh, nice. Thank you, Chief. Captain, Thank you, the Chief corrupt a. transmission corresponds to the rest of the data patterns. Is it possible to begin an investigation, Crewman Burton? The science team currently believes we have enough data to decode everything. We will begin right away. Understood. Let's go this one first, and then we'll go to the other, other, uh, the three over there. All right. Oh, I'm having a lot of fun with this game so far. I'm not sure how much longer this video is going to last. Apologies if it's running a little long. I probably made it take way too long by trying to look at certain things and trying to figure it out before listening to the uh, game tell me what to do. Alright, let's go over here. They're friendly, right? Okay. So they managed to destroy one of the... Uh, Ships, unfortunately, it looked like, but <coughs> tried our best to do what we could. So, uh, still would like to know if there's any other buttons to activate, like guns and stuff. So, hopefully, they tell us that soon, unless I missed it in the tutorial somehow. I don't think I did, though. Quite close enough to you. Just a little bit past it, maybe I'll see it. Oh, you don't have a. Oh no, there it is. There's got to be one somewhere. And last ship is below us. Okay. John Adams. Sounds like a trusted, trusted guy. Well. Our work here is done. Let's head back to the station. I think I need a vacation. Wham. <laughs> Such a whiner. You, just, you can tell he sits behind a desk all the time. The safety of this lab. Oh yeah, I could 
definitely get into this game. And if they ever add controller support, that would be awesome because then I would be a lot better at the fighting. <laughs> Comms Chief, request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bed. Over. Full power to the Receiving engines. coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Uh, we need that tilt. There we go. Um, that one looks like it's on the other side. Let's go around so we don't run into anything. Ship right here. Go up and over him. Dizzy, I know. <laughs> Got it. Not the best parking job, but you know, we did pretty good. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Susan looks away a few seconds, but recomposes herself and resumes the chat rapidly. In any case, we've got have good news. It was tough, but your ship repairs have been completed. I guess this is goodbye. Don't be strangers. Come visit us if you ever back in this sector. Of course, we'll see each other again. Yeah. Hope we never go back. <laughs> You could be a complete ass and just do that to say that. That's funny. Captain, <laughs> our scanners detect multiple signals in the area. Maybe we should investigate them before warping to Tacit Stella. Perhaps someone needs our help. <coughs> Alrighty, guys. Shit back. Ooh, it looks nice and pretty. You did a good job. You got the paint right. You got the red on there. That's what I, that's what I always go for. Alright, so we have the signals. Let's go, let's go just check it out. Let's check it out guys. Might as well. This might be the last of the stuff we we'll do before we exit the prologue here. Suspicious activity. Hey, what are you kids doing, huh? But a group of unknown ships after attempting to contact it a few times for them to identify themselves. They activate their shields and weapon systems. Are you preparing to leave us no other choice? Yep. Activate the shields. All hands to battle stations. <laughs> You'll regret this. Enemies of the Republic deserve to die. Let's just do full speed there. Alright. What is that? Same kind of ship? Yeah, it is. One of our shields has fallen!
We're totally space pirates. Totally. We just take what we want after battle. Just like Captain Harlock. One of my favorite animes of all time. If y'all haven't checked that out, y'all need to. It's great. It's got a great song, too. <laughs> I'm not doing it justice. Just look look up Captain Harlock on intro song on, on YouTube later. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got one more signal to discover. Let's go check it out. This way, there we go. So we've already damaged it quite a bit. <laughs> Might have to go back to Susan real quick. Susan, could you, uh, could you hook us up again? Sorry. <laughs> okay, a transmission from a civilian ship interrupts an otherwise tranquil uh, voyage. Captain, thank goodness you've arrived. A terrible disease has spread throughout the crew of my ship and some of its passengers as well. Sadly, we don't have a medic on the ship. It could be quite serious. So we're going to hear that. Has there been any casualties? Let's see what type. I don't know, Captain. We need a doctor urgently. Oh no. Oh my god. How can... A lung come out of his ear like that. What? Did you hear that? Those are the screams of the rest of the infected. Amongst them are some kids, orphans, and... Uh, hold on, we'll send our scientists to the We'll go search for help. <laughs> uh, we'll send Your time is not high enough to ensure that your success... Should Okay, hours pass after without answers, without any definite results. There are a few trials. The infected researchers, it's breaking point. Nothing makes sense. Every infected person, different symptoms. Nope. Oh, okay, so these, oddly enough, look like expected halogens. While we're seeing the, while others see their organs expelled from places, organs should definitely not expel from. For a few hours, there are no longer any patients to examine. Ugh. That was quite disturbing. I'm very sorry. I should have searched for help. I thought I could help you. I just, uh, killed all of you. Wow. Uh, use the star map to fly. Got it. And now let's go here. Lucas Reed, go! <laughs> Star Captain, all that. <laughs> the investigation has finished. We've been able to restore the transmission we picked up in the slaver's headquarters. I think you need to hear this immediately. Nartos, <coughs> Fleet Admiral of the Children of the Sun here. Situation report, Commander. Commander X Pleo from Lithobia 1 here. All preparations are complete as per your orders. Perfect. The Galactic Summit is nearly upon us. The wrath of the Children of the Sun shall fall upon the Interstellar Republic. I can't believe it. We have to relay this as soon as possible. Understood, Admiral. Although there's something that worries us. A captain of the Republic is snooping around the sector. We followed him after his warp jump, but he destroyed our ships. Take care of him as soon as possible. 
Now is the time for us to control the mining and commerce network. Send a pirate fleet and make sure that the Protonite mining stations are under our control and that none of the Republic stations are supplied. Break their will, and if necessary, kill them all. May the sun light your way, Commander. We'll keelhaul them all! Ex Pleo out! Keelhaul them all? I think they meant to say kill them all, but okay. <laughs> I guess this is where I need to go. Uh, we're coming a little faster than I want to. Okay. Oh, is that the bad guy ship, huh? Ooh, he has a nice ship. That's probably we welcome you, Captains. The reception is awaiting you on the docks. All representatives and diplomats shall be escorted to the Senate chambers, where the summit shall begin. I don't think we'll be having that summit, Admiral Xiao. The Children of the Sun no longer receive orders from the Interstellar Republic. What is the meaning of this, not us? For centuries, the Children of the Sun have been subjected to the whims of the Republic. That time has come to its end. We order your retreat and complete demilitarization of your strategic points across the universe. We've looked out for the security and common interests of the universe for hundreds of years. We won't cave into the scare tactics of a few bloodthirsty savages. <laughs> Just a few, Admiral? Oh, crap. We've been complacent for too long, but that's over now. The Children oh, of the Sun will no longer be led by an unworthy puppeteer. It's surrounded. time to cut those cables and strangle their detractors with them to the last. Admiral, this is high treason. Opposition to the Republic like this means a death penalty to anyone who supports your rebellion. Negotiations have ended, Xiao. Surrender or die. Not us. Be reasonable. This means war on a universal scale. Millions will die. The decision has been made, Xiao. May the sun light your way, Admiral. <laughs> well then, um... This is a mess. Uh, I guess I'll go after this guy over here who's attacking the space station. The Children of the Sun are attacking the headquarters. Captain, our shields have been damaged. We won't hold out much longer. Our shields have fallen. Has been destroyed! 
can't be happening. You'll pay for this. Do you hear me? You will pay for this even if it's the last thing I do. I'll get you, even if I have to follow you to the end of the universe. We have to snap out of it. We need you more than ever now. Captain, there's a fire in the reactor room. The pressure readings are off the charts. Burden, burden, answer, damn it. Bastards, you won't finish us all. Captain, we lost the propulsion engine. Oh, no. oh this is bad. This is bad. Oh, God. Oh, goodness, I'm Heavy gonna... damage to the ship. Status critical. Reverse, reverse. Don't run into the station. Go forward. Go, go, go. I can't see what I'm doing. You'll never get away with this, Nana. The Republic will prevail! Captain, Admiral Shiar ship. Admiral, to all captains! Focus fire on Naruto's ship! He can't be allowed to leave here alive! Captain, Engineering Workshop has suffered a massive breach. Alert! Alert! Decompression imminent. Crew member Diaz, leave the room immediately. That's an order! Sorry, Captain. It's too late. I have to close the doors to avoid the entire ship's decompression. Don't do that! Do you crew. hear me? I forbid the closing of those bay doors! Manual lock activated. Closing bay doors. It's been an honor, Captain. No! I'll land you, Nartos. Oh, uh, I pretty much had it. My, redirect all power flow to the cannon. Change in security protocol requested. Confirmation required. Captain James Scott of the Interstellar Republic, ID 4128C. Deactivate protection protocol. Crew security protocols have been deactivated. Captain, the system will not support the overcharge. The probability of death is 100%. We cannot allow the children of the sun to get away with this. My full power! Yes, Captain. Life support offline. Defense systems offline. Redirecting power. Power at 110%. Oh. 250%. 500%. 1,000%. For the Republic! That was intense! I was panicking so bad. My situation analysis. Systems completely destroyed. Crew crew dead. I see. So this is it, right? MAR system. Protocol error. D -d damage. Easy. I'm here with you. Hold me. Rest, my rest. No. I get chills on that. Like <laughs> <My> goosebumps. <laughs> oh man, that was a very hopeless situation to go through right there. Thank you for playing the demo of Between the Stars. If you enjoyed the demo, you can make this game a reality by supporting us on Kickstarter. If you want to check out the campaign, please click the green button. Thanks. Alright, I'm going to just click no thanks so we go back to the menu. Um, Alrighty. Let's see here. Alrighty, well... Oops, sorry. Okay, back to the tile screen. I was almost thinking I was going to have to do that as a two-parter, but <laughs> this could be an extra long episode. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, a huge thanks to Between the Stars producer. Uh, again, apologies if I butcher your name. Uh, Alex 
Poisky, that's P-O-Y-S-K-Y, for giving giving the slackers a chance to explore the stars. If you're interested in checking out the gameplay out for yourself, a demo is available currently on their Kickstarter page. So swing by it, take it for a spin, and it might be something you've been looking for. Alrighty guys, uh, don't forget all the usual links in the description below for our our uh, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, all that. But uh, let me reflect real quick on the game. Uh, again, I've been a console gamer most of my life, so for keyboard and mouse for me is always kind of hard, but some of the controls were kind of far apart, but I don't know if that's usual for uh, PC gamers, so uh, I did okay with the controls. Like I said, would really love, uh, I hate showing this on the screen, but uh, Xbox controller. I I am so much better at games when, it, when they incorporate uh, controller. So maybe uh, push for getting controller support for this game. That would be my only like bad critique on it, I guess. Like I did, and that's probably mostly on my end because I suck at keyboard and mouse and all that. But I mean, other than that, I love the shield just distribution. You can put the energy where you need it. Power, engines, you know, that's just great. Controlling the uh, the speed and everything with the mouse, that's that's just awesome. I love the graphics of this game. The ships look awesome. I know I keep saying awesome a lot, but I really enjoyed this. This is a game I will definitely play if it makes it through the Kickstarter campaign. So please, guys, if you enjoyed this, go go to their Kickstarter, help them out, try out the demo for yourself. Uh, I'll actually push for this. I'll do a playthrough of this on the channel uh, if this game comes into being. I really hope it does. Because this is awesome. I need to learn some more of the uh, of the stuff, but I'm sure they'll do a better uh, intro when the game comes out, like teaching you how to, you know, upgrade things, salvage parts, this and that. So, yeah, I think this is this is a solid game. It's beautiful. Uh, I didn't see I had any at any point a on OBS a uh, overload in the system, so I probably could have ran this on ultra graphics settings, so. But still on high, this thing looks great, so it will only look even more gorgeous if you had your system up on ultra, so. But yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for giving us a chance to play this game. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm really looking forward to playing more of it, and I really hope you do your goal in your Kickstarter. So again, thank you. This is Mad Dog signing off, and we'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Arr, arr, arr.